President Rodrigo Duterte says he will order the mass arrest of National Democratic Front consultants any day now. Duterte had ordered the temporary release of around 32 jailed NDF consultants, including New People's Army leaders Benito and Yulma Tiamzon, so they could participate in peace talks with the government. The president formally ended peace talks on November 23. He also signed a proclamation tagging the CPP New People's Army as a terrorist group. Duterte says an insider in the talks with the CPP was secretly giving him information about working documents and conversations of leftist leaders. The information supposedly prompted him to conclude the communists wanted a coalition government, which was unacceptable to him. Duterte says he cannot give the communists what he does not own. He adds a coalition government with them is not possible under the 1987 constitution. The Philippine National Police will add new guidelines before policemen resume its role in the war on drugs. DNP spokesperson Gennardo Carlos says they are working on a new command memorandum circular to complement the controversial CNC 16-2016 or the operating guidelines for Upland Double Barrel. CMC 16-2016 is being challenged at the Supreme Court, with petitioners asking that the guidelines be declared as unconstitutional. PNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa earlier said they will only change the drug war guidelines if the SE compels them to do so. There is no decision from the High Court yet. The PNP said the new guidelines will be crafted to follow the orders of President Rodrigo Duterte. Duterte reminds the PNP and other law enforcement agencies that the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency should remain the lead agency in the drug war. Carlos says he hopes the new guidelines will be released next Monday, December 11. The United States President Donald Trump recognizes the disputed city of Jerusalem as Israel's capital Wednesday. Trump's defiant move making good on a poor campaign pledge and seven decades of U.S. ambiguity on the status of the holy city claimed by Israelis and Palestinians. Trump says this marks the start of a new approach to solving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He says, quote, Israel is a sovereign nation with a right like every other sovereign nation to determine its own capital. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says Trump's deplorable and unacceptable move signified America's withdrawal as a sponsor of the peace process. Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist movement that runs the Gaza Strip, warns Trump opened the gates of hell on U.S. interests in the region. Trump's moves leaves many angry U.S. allies struggling to find a measured response. Britain describes the moves as unhelpful and France as regrettable. Germany plainly says that it does not support Trump's decision. Turkey calls the decision irresponsible and illegal, while Iran says it will provoke Muslims and inflame a new intifada. Mm-hmm.